everyone, George Rambler Man here. Hope everybody is doing well. It's a beautiful first Saturday of March as I drive by the pasture with all the nice horses close to my neighborhood. It's uh, early on Saturday morning and I am headed up to my favorite, uh, not my favorite, but uh, one of my favorite Dunkin' Donuts in Ella J, Georgia about 45 minutes uh, north of me but it takes me through some really nice uh, nice countryside and I enjoy this uh, ride a lot you know my riding here lately has been kind of limited just due to the weather it's been so rainy first part of the year we had a record year last year and <laughs> we're getting this year is getting off to the same kind of start uh, but today is nice you know March is here springs around the corner and I can't wait. You know, I was watching a video this morning from uh, my moto vlogging buddy, NC Stoney, who's really one of my favorite moto vloggers, one of the first ones I ever watched. And I'm sure most of you that subscribe to me subscribe to him. And uh, Stoney's a great guy. And he put up a vlog a couple of weeks ago where he had gotten a book. Uh, I think the biker's meaning of life or something like that and he's passing it around and I'm on the list so I'll get a chance to see this book we are going to get a chance to sign it and that's going to be a keepsake for Stoney but uh, he had an interesting vlog this morning where he threw out the possibility of um, this whole motor vlogging community kind of putting together a maybe a little book or some something you know, where we kind of give our views on life and how motorcycles fit into it and just interesting stories. And I think that's a great idea. I volunteer to be the associate editor. I never volunteer to be the lead dog. I, you know, I know they say if you're not the lead dog, the view is always the same. But I'm going to let Stoney be the lead dog on this uh, little effort. But I think it's a great idea. And, and... You know, for us to kind of put all those things together, I think it would be interesting. Maybe not to anybody else, but just us. But uh, I think it would be uh, a great thing. Like I say, maybe we can self-publish it. Maybe we just put it together in some sort of notebook form. Who knows? But I think it would be uh, a great project, and I'm I'm looking forward to it. So let, let me give you my uh, really uh, super brief. <laughs> view on life and I want to throw out a uh, throw out something that um, it's kind of close to my heart here that I want to uh, share with you but you know when you talk about the meaning of life and uh, you know as I've gotten older I guess maybe my views have changed a little bit I think as you go through life and you mature how you think about life when you're in your 20s is probably a little different than when you're in your 60s like me but I guess one of the main things that I've uh, you know I've come to realize in life is uh, you know life's not all about consuming and acquiring things not that that's a bad thing but if that's uh, all your life is about you're probably gonna feel you know somewhat empty you gotta find you gotta find some uh, bigger purpose and I'm certainly not preaching here so don't don't take it the wrong way but you gotta you gotta find some kind of way to I think kind of give back to society, the world, your family, your friends, and not always be taking, but uh, but giving. And I'm going to share something with you, a little personal. I've never really shared this before, and I, you know, I don't like to be too personal with, um, you know, with things on Facebook. But you know, I got uh, four great kids, and um, my wife and I are blessed to have them. And my wife and I are actually on our uh, second marriage. She brought two wonderful boys into the marriage, and I brought a son and a daughter. And we've been married for almost 12 years. And the way we met was we... Uh, we both had uh, a kid with uh, special needs. 
Now that whole term special needs is a, is a broad term I know just for uh, you know just for information my wife has twin boys and Dan uh, has Down syndrome his brother Brendan who lives in Nashville doesn't but they're twins and uh, Dan has Down syndrome he still lives with us and he is a great kid and he is just turned 26 I have an older son who's 35 now and uh, living in Atlanta is very successful married also have a daughter who's 10 years younger than my son she's 25 she'll be turning 20 she's 24 now she'll be turning 25 in a couple of weeks and she was born with spina bifida I don't know if you know what that is maybe you do maybe you don't <laughs> kind of falls into the medical term of a neural tube defect and basically when she was uh, in her mother's womb she the spinal cord didn't fully form and and uh, you know she's been going through life in a wheelchair she's finished high school she she's been to college and and she's actively looking for a job now and she's a wonderful young lady and I, I love her with all my heart and you know spina bifida comes with a lot of uh, issues but she uh, you know she takes on that challenge every day and uh, I admire her in, in more ways than I could ever express here but getting to the point she is part of a wheelchair sports team called the Titans here in, uh, in Atlanta and a few years ago some of the parents of the kids in this wheelchair sports team got together and said you know we're not always going to be here our kids are going to outlive us we hope and uh, you know there's got to be a there's got to be a place for them to be able to live and some of the parents got together they started a foundation called uh, Champions Foundation and they began raising money several years ago to build a shared living community here in the northern suburbs of Atlanta in Roswell and they have raised the money and it's under construction now and it's going to be a shared living community for young adults with physical challenges whether they be in a wheelchair or some other type of physical challenge and it'll be a place where they can live and they can socialize and be independent uh, and be successful in life and my daughter is applied to be a charter member of this uh, great project and uh, it's not free it's going to cost money and this is a completely a charitable organization so they've been raising money and they've raised the money to build this uh, community which is under construction now it'll be probably finished in late late 2019 and uh, they're paying for cash there's not going to be any kind of mortgage no debt on the facility but obviously they're going to have to you know have money to run it so it's going to be a fee to live there and and uh, and then they then being a charitable organization they have various fundraisers and right now they're having their biggest fundraiser of the year Publix Grocery Store is a large grocery chain here in the southeast is sponsoring a half marathon in late March in Atlanta through the streets of downtown Atlanta. It's a half marathon, so what's that, 13 miles? And uh, a, a, a big group of the Titans always participate in this marathon. And they, uh, and they raise money. People sponsor them and they raise money for it. My daughter uh, participated in it last year. She's not this year because she's re recovering from some surgery but she's still part of the fundraising effort so I'm going to throw a little link to their webpage at the bottom of this video and you can click on their webpage and if you want to donate uh, to this fine cause I would certainly appreciate it my daughter would appreciate it I know there's lots of charities out there and, and people are always seem to be asking for your money and I'm, I'm certainly not begging for money and and there's no way that I would ever know if anybody donates or not but it's a worthy cause it has my full endorsement I, I support it financially 
you know, take a look at the website. It's got some great, uh, great information on this place. It's going to be a wonderful place for young adults. And uh, my daughter's looking forward to it, being a member there and, and living there. So again, I'll throw a link to their website on the, on the bottom of this video. And there's actually a, a, a little YouTube video, it's kind of a flyover that the architect uh, prepared that shows what this community is going to be, look like, and it's a, just a, a beautiful, a beautiful place. And you know, the long-term goals are to replicate this facility if it's successful in other places because there's not really a, a, a model for this in the, in the United States anywhere else. But if you feel so inclined, uh, my daughter would certainly appreciate it. And, and one last thing, if you if you do donate and you and you click on the little tab to donate, there's a place where you can type in her name and she'll get credit for <laughs> get credit for the uh, for the funds that are collected in her name. There's a little drop-down menu of the uh, people that are participating, and she's not on that because she's not participating. But you can type in her name. Her name is Sarah. Sarah McMillan and if you type in her name she'll get the uh, credit for it which is nothing else. and I, I have to tell you you know when I look at Sarah and I look at Dan with Down syndrome and Sarah with spina bifida going through life and what they, the challenges that they have and then I have a beautiful day like today and I walk outside and I throw my leg over a motorcycle and take off and ride don't think for a minute that I'm not thankful that I have the health and I have the ability to do that. You know, there's a lot of people in this country who don't have that for a lot of different reasons. And it's uh, certainly not a bad thing if, again, through your time or through your talents, you contribute to helping make their life a little bit better. All right, well, that's all I got for today is I'm cruising through the small town of Ball Ground, Georgia, headed up to Ella J. Looking forward to Stoney's project with the book. Looking forward to getting the book and reading it and signing it and uh, seeing where this, uh, where this little book project goes. All right, folks, this is Georgia Ramblin' Man rambling through Ball Ground, Georgia on a beautiful early March Saturday. Everybody take care and have a great week.